pool, it, you need a lot of dexter- dexterity. It's a skill thing, but it's not a sport. It's a game. Pool is a game. What about chess? Chess is also a game, but they're talking about putting that shit in the Olympics. I think that shit's dumb. Yeah, it's super dumb. Yeah. That's not what the Olympics are. That's athletic prowess. They do have the esports Olympics. That is that. Yeah, That's which is thing. another. I, mean, I like that. As long as it's its own thing, they call it the esports. Yeah, and but not in the regular Olympics. No, it's like not part some, of the Olympics. Somebody diving, and then it's like, and now we go straight to League of Legends. Yeah, <laughs> I'm down for that. <laughs> I'm, I'd watch League of Legends before I watch diving. Yeah, maybe instead of diving, yeah. I mean, listen, it's all these sports at the Olympics that nobody gives a fuck about for, like, the whole year, for four years. Nobody gives a shit. And the Olympics, everyone's like, oh, my country. Yeah, I'm like, so proud of Gina Carano. And I'm like, who is that? Why do you act like you care? You weren't watching a single meet the whole time. You know what always surprised me? Like, the baton, you know, the relay races? Yeah. I used to do that in, like, elementary school. Yeah. I was like, who made this a career? <laughs> like, you see people representing your country. Like, have you been just passing the baton for 20 years now, just practicing That's with a, other adults? But, but it's a thing. It's a thing. Sports like that. I mean, I'm into running. I like to watch the sprinting categories. I even will watch, like, some of the 10,000 kilometers. I'll, I'll, I'll watch that shit, but beyond 10, that. 10,000 kilometers? Like yeah. running. It's too... 10,000 kilometers? Yeah. Kilometers. Like 10,000 k. You oh, you mean 10k? 10k. You, you mean 10k. Not 10,000 k. Yeah, 10, he's right. 10,000. Across the fucking country? Like what are you mar- watching? <laughs> <laughs> like a marathon is 40k. 10,000 k? How long you're running for? Your whole life? No, they do run. No, 10, not 10,000 k. Not 10, There's a 10k run. Those are marathons, yeah, right? That's 10k, 10, not 10,000 k. You said 10,000 k. 10,000 kilometers. That's what you said. Oh. <laughs> and I was like, dude, you can't run for 10, 10 kilometers. 10 kilometers. Is it 10 kilometers only? 10K. Yes, 10K. That's, not, that's not long. Yes, how, what do you want to run 10,000 kilometers? How long of a race is how that? How do you run or in? <laughs> how long of a race is that? 10, 10 kilometers? 10K, that's yeah. like. Depends who's hours. running. Is it? No. No. That, you you could do 5K in, in half an in, hour. I run, in, I run it in two hours. You know, you're faster than that. Oh. Run it? Hold it depends. Ten k is not five k because I ran a five k. That's what I'm saying. Five k is thirty minutes. Thirty minutes. A so half an hour, hour is ten k. But people that run marathons, they they run it so fast that it's like four hours. You guys have heard but of the marathons that they last four days. This is how this podcast about, is starting. A marathon. A marathon no, is forty k. Preach, Abba, test your mics. Talk in there. Three. Boom, boom, boom. One, That's two, it. Three, one, two, three. No, You're good. The, the, there's just use the mic the, and we're good. So then, what do they call those? High, Ironman. But that they don't run for four days. No, there's one. There's days. one. Hundred uh, percent. I'm not. You. Can, uh, you they, go, they have tents. They go fucking camping. But they can't. They can't run for ten thousand kilometers. That's impossible. They run for four days. But not straight. Maybe they stop. They chill. They're at a nah, cafe. I remember seeing this and I was blown away. This girl. By the end of it, all of them were fucked up. Ma- is this the Paralympics? Maybe. No, no. It this just guy, takes them longer. Why is it? <laughs> Yeah. I'm gonna Google it right now because I remember <laughs> seeing this shit and I'm was also blown away. They run they run for a few days straight. Let's see. Hold up. Uh, in the Olympics, they run for a few days no. straight. No, man. That is Not insane. in the Olympics. Not in the Olympics. I think Olympics. you're looking at remember those uh dirt races they do in the in like the Sahara where they're there for days, they have a guy navigating. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I know what you're talking about, yeah. Yeah, maybe that's what you're thinking of. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna look this shit up. Preach you uh you carry on the conversation. <laughs> okay. Preach doesn't give a shit about your running. Yeah, preach what are you doing on your phone? We carry on the conversation. I'm I'm looking at the facts. I'm trying to look at the he's, facts. He's upset too that you brought I'm this like, up. Nah, you, it's especially not in the Olympics. No, it's not in the Olympics. Okay. But I know it's a thing. It's, <laughs> wait, who, who does this? It, it, no, there's like the the most elite athletes they do it. Really? Oh yeah, hundred percent sure. The most dumb. Yeah, that's, that's a waste dumb. of time. That's Why stupid. is that dumb? That's dumb. Why is that dumb? That's a waste of time. You could how's that, how's that any more dumb than, than fucking playing rugby? How's that any more dumb? Because that's actually fucking dangerous. Like, it's really, really... Rugby's really, not, not dangerous. Concussions are not dangerous. R- they running, literally r- just running, paid out a settlement r- in the NFL. Running for four days? Hey, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. You put shit over your ears just for that shit to pop. You don't put duct tape over your nipples for them not to shake and bleed. Like, that's <laughs> fucked up. You Boxers four, do that. You Boxers run, do that every run, time they you train. You run for 40K. You run for 40K and you have to put that shit. Four days? That's just destructive. That's fucked up. Yeah, literally sports, a majority of them is destructive. UFC is that's, destructive. That's too extreme. I'm UFC sorry. is a little destructive. That's people fighting. It people is. trying to kill it each is. other. Different story. It but is. It, but it's, we watch it. So, I mean, you ask yourself why people do it. People do destructive things all the time in the form of entertainment because they have goals. They like the, the, the whole appeal of it all. But I'm going to pull it up because I remember this girl. She was crazy. She won it. Uh, and, yeah, she came out really fucked up after the race. Was I done. wonder why. 
So yeah, wait, it's super extreme, so but that, you, I think that's part me, of the perseverance thing. I have, a, I have a question. Are you telling me that they stop in between and go to bed, or they just run straight, like sleepwalking? Yeah, they run straight. For three days? Yeah. How no, fuck? That's, that's insane. Dumb. That's, that's... Yo, after... Listen, the, the most that I've, I, I did without sleeping was straight, no nothing, no naps was about 76 hours. That's a lot. And you I go started crazy. seeing things. Yeah, yeah, you go crazy. And my doctor was like, don't fucking do that shit again because you could do some re- unrever- like you could do some shit. You fuck up your brain. Yeah, fuck up your brain. What was your excuse? What were you telling him? I'm running for my problems. I can't. I, no, I can't it was stop. just, you know, it was a six- <laughs> sequence of things that was really busy and I had like gigs and shit like that. So I was like, I had a gig in the day, gig in the night, gig in the day. I was seeing things. You understand what I'm saying? Oh, and I've been through. So, the and that was me not. I was not running. I was not being. I was just there. You know what I mean? And not sleeping. Now running, and that's just that's, just, that's fucked. That's fucked. It's crazy. You talk about that shit to a doctor that's gonna be like for four days straight without sleeping. No. You know what's funny? No. We we make fun of this. I want to know if people who play professional darts, if they have some kind of training, like we're making fun of them, and they're like, you don't know what kind of tense shit we do. Uh, <laughs> all right, here we, here we go. So here we go. So. Courtney Dalwalter completed the 383K ultra in less than 58 hours. Is she Non-stop. Dead? This was the race. No, it, it, it says non-stop? Yeah. Is she dead? Like, I don't understand how you... What's her <laughs> name? Courtney Dal, Dal, D-A-U Walter. Dalwalter. Dalwalter. That's a strange name. It is a... I'm guessing she's Dutch or some shit, but she's, it, says, it says she's Canadian, I think. Pretty fascinating stuff. That is fascinating. But yeah. wh- how, how long is she running for? 56 hours. 40, f- 57 hours and 52 minutes. Jesus Christ. So that's more than two days, not four. That's absurd, though. But it's still fucked up. That's crazy. It's not four days, but it's two days. Four days? I'm sorry. That's more than two days. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, that's close. To, you're close to three days. Yeah, but four days? It's some, like, fuck. I wonder what her parents said when she says, I want to get into this. Imagine your dad, like, bitch, you don't want to play tennis? Like, well, fucking, like a normal person. Like, what are you, what are you doing? The fuck and you know what? It's not even like a flat race, too. It's like they're going through canyons and shit. People no. Are, when you're doing that, you're not doing a sport. You're running away from your problems. Yeah, you're just. Like, it's a, it's a mental illness. Yeah. You're not, you're not, you're not fucking, you're not. Can't you're not but you, but you well, think I'm about try, it. I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be really, uh, I'm trying to be really competitive. No, bitch. You have issues. This is crazy. And you're running away from them issues, but all that's right? What, that's what makes her awesome. You just, you just, you know, you, it's not the fact that I want to compete against my, no, bitch. You just don't want to go back home. That's what it is about you or about your house. Like, I don't know what it is, but you got some shit you're running. Yo, listen. What about a relationship? Like, you're dating her, and she's like, later, babe, I got to go train. I'll be back in three weeks. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't mad at that. You know, you're like, okay, leave. Hey, listen, that's something I would do to my girlfriend, so I'm not mad at that. If I had to leave for a while, and she had to accept it, it's cool. I mean, we can't deny that crazy people behave in erratic ways. Michael Jordan was a piece of shit human being yeah. who just had a training regimen that was insane. And had a crippling gambling addiction. Yeah, you know what I'm <laughs> saying? It's like the madness of excellence. Oftentimes, people have to do some crazy shit. So the fact that this race exists doesn't surprise me that much. When I look at it, I'm like, never. But I guess for people who that's their life, then that's all they do. They train for it. Mm. I mean, that's all they want, yeah. Imagine coming second in a race like that. You've committed your whole life to just running and somebody beats you at that. It's not even that. It's th- th- remember last marathon? Last marathon, last Olympics, there was a guy that shot himself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what's fucked up? Oh, if you're running for two days, you know you're what's fucked shitting up? and pissing everywhere. Coming, af- before, like, coming after that dude. And just seeing shit everywhere? This guy beats you while shitting himself. <laughs> yeah. Just quit. Just <laughs> <laughs> fucking quit. You got beat by a guy shit him, shit, shitting himself. <laughs> quit. That's pretty common, though, yeah, when you're running well, along marathons yeah, you to you shit pissed. yourself. Yeah, because what else are you going to do? Like well, you no, your system, your system, your system, your system starts to shut down, and then some of your, it's like a self defense mechanism. Sometimes people shit themselves in moments of flight, or like because yeah. your body's reacting to yeah. a crisis. When you're running for that long, you're going through crisis. So people piss in bottles, they just shit anywhere. You'll see even marathon runners go to the side of the road, shit on, and then just pull their shorts up, no wiping, and just get back. No, there's some people that just do it. Yeah, well, that's <laughs> just bloop. It's like I don't care. Especially if you're pissing, they don't do it on the bottom. Sure. No, they just. Just to they stop, just, to they stop. just go. They just go. They just let it go. Yeah. It's fun because you don't get that many highlights from go. marathon runners, but the guy shitting himself is like, oh, I'm making the sports oh, net yeah. highlights sports tonight. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm on Sports Center. With baby. his doo doo stains. <laughs> <laughs> that's commitment, though. I ain't mad at that. Commitment. Like, that, that no, is that's commitment. commitment to just shit yourself and be like, I'm still winning this race. Yeah. But to shit yourself and lose the race? He didn't win. That's worse. No, Ooh. it's not. He came in fourth while shitting himself. 
That's some fucked up shit. You're saying that it's impressive that he met, went fourth shit himself. What I'm saying is he I didn't sh- win, and all he's gonna be, nobody's gonna remember fourth place. Listen, all anybody's gonna remember is you true, shit yourself. True, <laughs> true. So. but when I shit myself, when I shit myself, I when need, I I'm shit, not a race. I need to just shit. I just need to just do that. Maybe do a little bit of playing on my phone. I got but some tweets shit, to send out. I, this dude was running at the same damn time with no newspaper. Only, only horses do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they got, Horses do that. But horses look happy. Yes. <laughs> Not in pain. Horses like, look happy. Horses don't even skip a beat. They don't nope. even blink. They, nope. they, they, I've been in a carriage and the yep. horse started shitting. Yep. And I'm like, I paid to, for this. Yep. Like, I paid to be in this carriage and, like, and I'm watching this horse. And it's like giant Yeah, chunks. they take big sh- Horses are one of those, I don't give a fuck animals. Yes. No, they, don't. they don't care. Yes. They don't care. Good for them though. Yeah. I'm, well, I'm happy for them that they get to shit wherever they I want. I mean, if you were in a carriage, that... that, that, that that, that 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 horse probably didn't have any more so <laughs> would you like have you look you look at the soul of that that you know when you go to the old port of Montreal oh, dude. you look at the, they're dead inside yeah. they're dead a long time I don't yeah, know why I'm, we I'm do ha- that. they're bad uh-huh. aren't they no not yet no not yet. but isn't not it yet. weird that they th- should be there's no yes. other way there's no other mode of transportation downtown like the, these people that own these horses, they're stuck in the old timey. It's just, uh, no, it's they, business. It's just business. It's just business. It's to be cute. It's they're using it them. Looks, as, yeah, because a they, lot of they, people pay money for it. They yeah, look. They're selling. These people sell romance. That's what they do. You they know what? You flowers. It's just romance. You know what's more romantic, and it will help the the economy. Getting a bunch of Filipinos with rickshaws, and you sit in the back of the rickshaw, and you have them right no, in front. No, that's of not romance. That's racist. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> To a Greek guy, it's the same thing. (laughs) To a white Greek guy who loves soccer, I am providing (laughs) opportunities for the Filipino community. (laughs) It's probably what he says when he when he gets a banana and throws it at a a black soccer player. Yeah, I'm providing him with an opportunity (laughs) to get some nutrition. First of all, you're taking this out of context. He he was a hockey player. He was a hockey player, and it was a rugby match. He shouldn't have been there. (laughs) And so your solution, banana. Yeah. Not my team in Greece. We don't do that. No. No, my team is the uh, is the refugee team. They're they're against racism. Are they? Yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Right. They're the ones who are in uh, who get in trouble in Greece for. Are they fighting. also the ones who are made up? No, no. Uh, AK <laughs> Athens. That's what they are. They're the uh, they're based on because it was when Greeks got kicked out of uh, Constantinople, Istanbul. Yeah. 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 So they came over as refugees, right? Oh yeah, that's why you so, don't like the Turks. So they're oh well, from before we didn't like the Turks. Yeah. Um, they have reasons. The one so. that invented baklava. The Turks. Yeah. They may have invented. We eat it. We have baklava too, but I think I think it might. You guys be have a Turkish. lot of Turkish influence in some of your some of your dishes. Yeah, and they have a lot. Well, no, not in our meat dishes. In desserts, Turks are very good at desserts. Yeah. Uh, and I think I'm not and sure. diabetes. I feel like yogurt might be a Turkish thing. I'm not sure. Just the 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 word yaurt, yogurt, mm. yaurt. It sounds Turkish. It might be, but uh, meats and stuff like that. No, they took from us because we, the whole Mediterranean used to do that stuff with the bread and the meats. But no, we, there's a lot of exchange. Obviously, we lived. Uh, we were slaves for 400 years. Yeah. yeah. So we. Lived. Ottoman Empire stand up. Yeah. Oh, you were you were slave for 400 years. 400 years ago. My yeah. nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Preachers like now we <laughs> now we got something in common. Let's talk about our ancestry. Well, so I just wanted to say nigga, <laughs> and I have a good reason to do it. The one that says nigga the most out of us is, is, is Abba. Abba just throws that. Yeah, shit but like I'm, it's I'm, free. I, I say it in a classy way. No, you say it like Trinidad James. Nigga, 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 nigga. Nah, you, you just nah. When I say it, be like, yo, pass me the teapot, n- nigga. <laughs> that's not that's classy. Nice. Though we can't, but we can't, uh, no. I can't, we're not, we're on the same boat, though. We're no, we're not. Boat. We're not at all. We're on the same boat? No, because no, we went, you know, in different ways. Because literal there. boats yeah, that's came and took you guys. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. but we're on the same boat because we were enslaved, but the Greeks had, they still held high positions. Yeah, you know it wasn't I mean? the same kind of it slavery. It wasn't the same kind of not slavery. It wasn't the same kind of slavery. <laughs> it was but more of an occupation, if anything. It was an occupation. There was a lot of genocide. There was a lot of killing babies, things like that. They did a lot of horrific things to us, but it wasn't a slave state that, like, what but the real what question is, in, uh, did America? the babies deserve it? Some of them were bad kids. They wouldn't make their beds, apparently. Um, no, no. Babies, what they would do is, <laughs> when they were young, oh, wow. they would take them, like the Janissaries, the, the elite Ottoman uh, soldier. What they, this is fucking mental. Imagine what they, So they would go into Greece, take babies when they were young, little infants, bring them back, raise them to become Turkish, Muslim, Ottoman, Muslim, this and that, make them elite warriors, and then go back to kill Greeks, basically to be the. But they didn't know these kids. They grew up as uh, as Turks, as Ottomans, in a fucked up uh, thing. 
Yeah. And then some would find out later. It's a big mind fuck to do that to people. It's wow. good. That's you're you killing the enemy, and then you realize that was your people. That was your yeah. mom. That was you're, your. You're, you're the enemy. That's fucked, bro. Yeah. Nah. What, 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 that's the army. That's what the army does. That's what the army does. Yeah, you brainwash kids and you make them fight for you for Black, shit. Black Mirror. You know what I mean? Yeah, but we we got that, that fucking that, show. That, that episode was dope, dude. Though. Yo, that the <laughs> one with the the biometrics. Yep. <laughs> Holy <laughs> fuck! I knew it would happen. I knew it was happening, but I was just like, I knew, like, of course, that was, of course. Yeah, they're not real monsters. Of course, but I was like. Oh shit! Like it could, it could have been. That's the fucked up thing about this show. It's like it, it could be possible. That's why you know I bought, I bought, I bought for Christmas to my girl. I bought a, a Google Home, a <laughs> Google Home Mini. And I'm really nice to Google Home because I don't know when that bitch is gonna turn on me. So they record. Good night, everything. Google. Good night. I'm like, yeah, bitch. I'm <laughs> nice. I'm one of the nice ones. You know, <laughs> just don't when, kill me. Just when, <laughs> when Skynet takes over. Exactly. You know when you you're just nice like weird kid because you're like you're a cool you're a school shooter. I don't. <laughs> hey, remember I went, I'm on the good side. <laughs> Sex- I'm like nationwide. Nationwide is on your side. You were talking about this morning. Did you hear about this? they opened a brothel in the UK for uh, the sex dolls? But it's a it's a sex doll brothel. Hmm. So you go and you fuck sex dolls, and you have the option after you bang her, if you feel really attached, to buy the sex doll. Okay, I like that. And uh, prostitutes are protesting. Of course, because it's like, yo, these robots are taking our jobs. Of course, it's good. <laughs> He's like, good, good. good. And you, good. You, there's guys out there, just and women out there, like, oh, I have a sex doll at home, right? Women walk in, they always have some comment to make. Oh, disgusting. You right? don't have a sex doll. Yes. Well, you have an inflatable doll. Yeah. What, these True, are the, these, these the are the high thing. end. Uh, it's not the same if thing. you look from a distance, you think high it's some end, girl low sitting end, down. Okay, listen. Whether she's ugly or beautiful, she's still a woman. It's and still she, a nanda gonna <laughs> okay, go in there. All right, you got holes that look like girl ish. Then it works. Mm. But yeah, women always make comments. Always make comments about any kind of doll. They shame you for it. I'm like, bitch, aren't you sexually liberated? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Aren't you? Aren't you playing with vibrators and dildos? Then shut the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? Because what's the difference? You leave what's my, the difference between my leave toy my and your rectangular beach ball alone? Ooh, that's <laughs> you know? right. That's but, right. Am, am I wrong? Know, the, the, am I wrong? But there's a double standard. You know, there's always been this double fucking standard. And the thing that happened with, you know, the new, the, the feminism and stuff like that happened, they don't tackle that 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 double standard. No. Once feminism is ta- for everybody. And, and, and the, and the if you got happen- men's issues, you can just come to feminism and then we'll sort them for you. Yeah. Okay, bitch. The, the, the thing sense. that happened is that it, it, it's just when we call them out, and when Abba goes and says, like, yeah, I got this subject I want to talk about, and it's the double standard, we get the most shit. And sometimes when you see it, though, and you know it's a double standard, it's when they're not able to explain it. When they're not able to be like, okay, well, explain me the difference. Explain to me what the difference is be- between a dildo and a sex doll for you. What is it? Mm. Or a fleshlight. Why are you going to shame that? They're all what? sex toys. They're all sex, sex toys. toys. But you, they're not able to. Well, a dildo is because, yeah, well, it's because, well, the thing is that, they can't do it, and then they insult you. No. When they can't do it, that's what you're gonna get. Insulted. Real men don't. Oh my god! Oh, but, and then oh, are you gonna insult my manhood? Because that's where you're gonna go, yo. But then we'll say toxic amazing. masculinity when you're too much of a man. It's messed up because <laughs> so, it's, it's messed up because doing <laughs> doing shit doing shit with this dude right here, like videos and stuff like that. I've been able to to see the worst in people. The worst the, one, the worst in people, but. Really like I really don't like double standard, but then this guy, this fucking genius, always fucking puts it out and makes me see like, yo, look, that's how people are acting. That's yeah. how people are like that. I knew it was, but I didn't know it was that bad. And every time it surprises me. The best part about him is that he does it, and he knows because he's gonna outsmart most of them. That he's waiting for somebody to rebuttal, so he could just fucking squash them. Mm. And then he's like, no, no, no. But it's <laughs> not even tort. it's not even a fact of trying to outsmart someone. It's just listen. I'm not trying to prove you wrong or show show you that I know shit. I'm just telling you, you what it's it not is. even that. I'm just listen. You're being double standard right now, and it's like it's being like to me a a a, a um, synonym of of double standard is hypocrisy. Yeah. And you're being a hypocrite, a hypocrite when that shit happens. And I'm just showing you. But if you if you decide to be, and you're like, yo, I I I am a hypocrite, and you know, we all have moments though. We all have we moments all have moments. Where it's our all logic good. is if, not completely if, on straight. If I have moments where I'm like looking at the way I feel about something, and I'm like, wait, am I being inconsistent here with the yeah. way I'm treating yeah. other people and my own behavior? Because sometimes we'll be like, this person's controlling. But I'm like, do I have controlling tendencies from time to time? And it's hard to look at yourself as the villain. So it's always easier to demonize someone for whatever reason. Even if there's no logic in it, it's just easier. And on the sex doll thing, it's literally one of the most egregious things to me sometimes because I'm like, I'm at least fucking the whole doll. You just took a limb. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and somehow I'm the pig. I'm the one that objectify men, yeah. uh, women, and you know, but you just take a dick. Yeah. So I'm just, you know, you know what I'm saying? There's dick, more which to is, me than just my dick. Which is fine. And I got feelings. Just like, uh, I got eyes. <laughs> but no, no, I just want the dick. Keep the rest. That's that's really how but they function. It, but it's it's and it's okay. It's it's all right. It's 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 all good. You know? Just admit what. We, so what you're saying is just admit it. Just like, admit it. Don't fuck around. You know, the, 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 us admitting it, we're gonna be able to move forward. The fact that we admit it, just the, the, that video that you that, that, that you put up, that the first video that you did, it was you talking on the heightism. It was, and at the end, it was not like, and that was the light, the nice twist about that video that I like. It was not even trying to be like, I'm not even trying to say that women are bad or men are di- no. Let's just agree that all of this shit is shallow. Yeah. You shallow, I'm shallow, we all shallow. Let's not start pointing fingers who's more shallow than... No, no. You wanted dating a man on the basis of his height is as shallow as, of, as me wanting titty meat or ass meat or this and that. It's just shallow. That's it. And it's funny that you guys bring this up because it touches on what... Uh, you like Jordan Peterson. Mm-hmm. The stuff he was saying about how uh, men now, the big problem is the way society is, is shaped. They're not expressing themselves properly they don't get encouragement they get shat on they're like uh if a if guy tries to speak out they're like oh it's because of the patriarchy oh it's because toxic uh, masculinity and so these people a lot of guys now they regress and they're just big children they're yeah i got i came in the mail yesterday me too (laughs) yo listen it was on my doorknob just like somebody put it in a bag like thank you i'm like bitch someone could have robbed this jordan peterson but i'm glad i picked up rules for life we'll see we'll see i'm pretty eager to see if this book uh stands up because it might be hot garbage it might be hot garbage. i'm gonna start reading it tonight if i have some time his lectures online are great though his lectures online are great. He like the, that's, that's the link you sent me. Yeah, when he when, when he roasted was, that reporter. No, but oh. that reporter you know, that and, reporter was horrific. She was terrible. She Hor- was horrific. So she, are you she was, are you so you trying to say we should murder her? Is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> yeah. No, we should hang her. <laughs> no, I'm not saying that. See, that's it's the just, wrong way to go yeah, about yeah. it in a real interview. No, but because Jordan real, like real, just real, dismantled real. her with no, logic. But, it, it was and he was just. I, he showed me that video and I was like, wow, I want to be this dude when I grow up. Just yeah, being able to talk to stupid people. Because she was stupid, not because, I'm not saying that because she's a woman or whatever, but she, because she wouldn't let him finish his sentence. No, his she was sentence. dumb. She was dumb. She, was, she would not let, let him finish. She would ask a question, then not get the answer she wanted and switch to another one. And like, answer that's for not, him when the answer, and answer didn't for, work. Like, that's so not, mean. That yeah. is not what he said. Just come say what the hell he At meant. At one point, he just started chuckling. He's just yeah. like, no, <laughs> no that's, that's not, not what, I what I said. And just him, because this thing is like 30 minutes long. Hmm. And to stay calm for 30 minutes. I don't have that. To, no. Listen, I, I, I'm, I, will, yeah. I will try to. Dude, For thirty, I think for 10 minutes, I'd be calm. Yes, and but 30 minutes. But then. If I'm like, uh, yeah, so you know, a lot of you, people, the, the unemployment is high. Yo, are you saying the Jews are the problem? I'd fucking lose my mind. Yeah. Like, what are you talking about? Who keeps? Yo, and I probably dude- crack jokes, but the best part about him is that he deals with the feminist movement so often and loud people that yeah, get up he's in his used face. To it. That he's just built a, a, a strong sense of defense. And I think that's super important in debate skills. That huge. was amazing. Because huge, you huge. look at her stance and her ideas, they were ridiculed. They were yep. pretty much put on. And then the one point where and he's like, gotcha. 23 and minutes. she's like, yeah, that's, you did. And that, I was that, like, three, 23, punch in the cunt. Tw- he just punched 20, her right in the cunt. 23 minutes and one second. That's yeah. when he said, huh. <laughs> I got you. Then, yo, I, I rewinded that. Yo, that spot. Yeah. When he said, gotcha. And she says, yeah, you got me. I'm like, yes. Yeah. I was like, yes. You know what I think yes, happened bro. to her? It's kind of like what you said before, how sometimes we we even counter ourselves, right? We think we want to be objective. I think she went in there with these preconceived notions of how, how he's going to be, what he's going to think, he's going to be a massage. She had all these ideas. So then when the answer she was getting wasn't what she expected, it started to fuck with her because she's like, no, no, this isn't how it's supposed to go. You're supposed to be uh, illogical. You're supposed to be a misogynist. You're not supposed to make any sense. So even though she was, it's like she was hallucinating. Even though she was getting proper clear, answers of an educated person and they made sense everything he said made sense she couldn't her mind couldn't nope. accept it because she already went in there with the idea of no no he's like this he's like this and we do that we fuck around like that as people do we have these expectations of people yeah. that they're going to be the worst or the nicest before you actually sit down and interact with them and then you're projecting yourself you're projecting your own ideas of how they should be or what they are and it, it makes you look stupid like in this case it made her look like the worst because she wouldn't let him finish and oh, when he would but that, she's making up answers yeah but that 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 that, the way that that interview went, it's to me a bit what happened with Tivia, with the mosques and stuff like that. Oh, do you remember that? Yeah. Yes, of course. We, of course, I remember. Wait, that. you guys I think it. I think that's exact. That's the exact same setting. The lady went to meet these two guys from the two different mosques, and she already yo listen. We already have that. We have sources. We uh, it's like that. So yo, we have it. So she was able. She was. 
she was so uh, clear on what she thought this was about that she was willing to lie. Yeah. Yo, we have it. We have it on paper. We have it. From who? From who? Doesn't matter. It's gonna be really. It's gonna be really easy to prove. She was willing to lie because she had that state of mind where she had preconceived uh, ideas about those two, uh, the, the, the the imams, and 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 they they. But what happened exactly? She had went and said, "So we heard that you don't want women being on the construction site." And they're like, "No, no, we just said don't make too much noise. You don't want women yapping. That's what you mean by noise, right?" And they're like, "No, we didn't say. It. Just don't make too much. Like it was so I think, stupid. It was. It yeah, was. I, I think there's a bit of a distinction because the the TV I think was fabricating evidence, right? Mm. In case of this interview, I think it is the interviewer's job to really challenge the person in their ideas, which I think the the reporter was meant to do. Kathy Newman is the yeah. one. But I think what she went wrong is she wasn't engaging with what he was saying in the nope, reply. I know. And I think while that's not necessarily, you know, fabricating evidence, I still think it's 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 not conducive to a legitimate conversation. Exactly. Because even if you want to be challenging and you want to go at the person, and I think that's her job, that's what she needs to do, you have to do it in a manner that at least uh, counters what he's actually saying. If I, if I say, hey, do you like chicken? And you're like, no, I'm more into broccoli. And you're just like, but what about the chicken? I'm like, no, we're talking about broccoli right now. Yeah. And so that's the issue that I had with the conversation more than anything. The TV, I think, uh, was just flat out lying. It was just a bad journalist who, I and, guess, and, was young, didn't know what she was doing, was just trying to fabricate stories, watches too much TV, I guess. Right, and it's not the same thing as Jordan Peterson because it, Peterson had a time to respond in real time and then yeah. have his hot side heard. Whereas the TV, I think, they put out a story which went out to millions of people and the mosque never got their side heard. So that's ex especially dangerous considering the fact that one Muslim people are a little bit vulnerable right now they're not well seen so when you release a story like this it has repercussions for people in real time and if they don't have an opportunity response or a platform to do it then you could really fuck up someone's life you know if I come out with TVI and we say you rape somebody yeah. you know and I just make that up regardless of whether you did it or not or you, because you don't have a platform that, to that, say shit, that, shit is over, that, that shit is over you yeah yeah if you and but what that so it's worse for me the TV yes. I think is way worse. Yes, yeah. the TV is way worse. Yeah, yeah. but the, what the interview did that I that I think uh, is good is that it shed light mm -hmm. on how because remember we keep throwing this around. We talked about last podcast about fake news, right? Because yeah. Trump says it. So because Trump said it, everybody's like, oh, then it can't be real. There is no fake news. It's all real. He just doesn't like it. When in reality, there's a lot of fake news out there. There is, and we need to be very careful. And it's been and, like that for a long time. For a long time. But what would happen is they'd bring people. If if you remember, whenever there was a protest, whatever network, if it's Fox and it's a left protest protest or if it's CNN and it's a right protest they get the dumbest people from the protest to talk on that channel to just discredit the whole thing yeah what happened here that it was lucky is that the same person that wrote the book the same person that has these ideas was there mm -hmm. able to defend himself yeah and what we got to see was when somebody who has a valid argument goes somewhere where he's really not welcome he was the way she, she did not treat him welcoming she did not go in there with an open mind she went in there with an agenda even though she did that the fact that you had the person that was smart enough to argue his points he crushed their whole narrative. He made people aware of it because I'm sure people watching at home being like, I think this guy has a, has has a, a point. point. Why is she acting like this? Because mm. when he kept saying, I never said that, if they had cut it, it wasn't a full live interview, they weren't, they could have made it look like he was saying something else. Yeah. But because they left it in, it was obvious that, holy shit, man, is this fake news? Like, they're trying to get him to say stuff. Yeah, they're trying to go to him. Say. But he's too smart. He wasn't like, oh, well, I, he, every time he would just stop, be like, wait, what are you talking about? That never happened. Let's go back to what I was saying. And he but, put her in her place mm. as a journalist. She did the right thing in terms of asking questions. Like he said, that's what a journalist should do. She's supposed to ask questions, but, but you don't answer them. That she was, she was, she was, she, it's like if we she needed, answered them it's, for it's him. like we, we needed someone to translate what he was saying. Nah, B, that's not what he said. He said exactly what the hell he said, and I understood what he said. But what you mean was, nah, that's not what I said. I said this and that, and it was very clear what he said. And she was trying to paraphrase what he was saying. And it wasn't even and, close. And twit, not even close. To what she was not even on the same planet of what he was saying. So what you're saying is what you like. I felt I felt <laughs> so, I felt like I was I was seeing sometimes some, some of the conversation I have with some people. So what you mean to tell me <laughs> is that you were good? No, that's not what I said. But like, it, it was very uh, it was just so cringy. To Either she cringe. thinks the viewers are that stupid that nobody understands, so I need to explain. That's the other thing I don't like about these these journalists now. When it, you're supposed to relay information. You're not supposed to act like you're the, always the smartest person in the room and everybody watching is just a sheep. They're all dumb. You just treat people like that. Like, oh, you're all idiots. So let me explain to you what he's trying to say. I don't even think she was trying to treat him like I an idiot. Think I think that, she was no. baiting him. Yeah. It was just baiting strategy, right? It was like a question barbed wire. And her mind, she was And it was like, like, if you answer this a specific way, then I get to peg you as this. If you answer... Yeah. That's why he was I'm, super I'm meticulous be, and careful with I'm, his words. I'm going to be the woman that's going to be able to, you know... 
to shed the light on how much of a dog you are. I'll yeah. be able to yeah. I have yeah. that power, I'll be able to do that. Yeah. I'm fighting for you, sisters, but no, you didn't. How much he talks that about opposite. that? He talks about how careful he is with his words, which yeah. I think is super important. But what you really got to see, if anything, was a pretty positive thing because it's an honest reflection of how, you know, people who feel like they're in the, the middle when they talk to people who are on the far left, that conversation that they had is how a lot of people feel when they talk with people. You know, you've speaking to some people who are feminists. It's pretty much the same conversation. Yeah. If you say, hey, uh, you know, I don't like Donald Trump, but some of the stuff he says makes sense. So what you're saying is that you support and you have these conversations. On, so it was just really a reflection of day-to-day conversations that we have in our everyday lives. So I think it was a good thing for you to see it on, online because in debates... Win or lose, what you want to see are ideas come together and see how they mesh. And what you got to see is one person bringing superior, well thought out ideas versus somebody who brought up things that were just really wish washy and, and nice to hear if you're part of that political spectrum. But if you're not, you know it's garbage. So I thought it was an a awesome interview reflective of our yep. society. Yeah. Pretty yeah. Much. And oh. I, I like the fact that we there was an intellectual on there because for him, I don't see him as a. Uh, counter feminist or anything if anything what he talks about is 100 percent real equality real equality not mm-hmm. uh because he wants you, you equ- equality and opportunity right not mm-hmm. an outcome which is what i've always been saying makes the most sense everybody needs to be able f- to be free enough to make their own decisions and try to get whatever they can at the same time what she was pushing for was more of equality of outcome right which is Oh, if uh, I don't know, if ten men that have this job are getting paid a hundred thousand dollars a year, then ten women doesn't matter what the job is need to be making similar. Mm-hmm. And he was saying, well, that doesn't make any sense. It, you know, why it, shouldn't it be the same job that makes that money? Like, who's dictating this stuff? Mm-hmm. Same thing with that whole uh, gender wage gap. I've argued this online. I got into huge arguments about it here in North America because I go personally when I was working, I haven't seen it the way it's d- displayed. Because the way it's displayed is that m- me preach, uh, me and preach go to a job. Let's say you're a woman. We're doing the same thing, and you're getting paid one third less. But that's not what happens in that's reality. Not what happens. There's no laws that govern. What they're saying, the reality of it is that on average, if you take a lifetime of a woman and a lifetime of a man, on average, they're going to make one third less. And they're not taking into account the why, the, the, the why. why, which is the most important variables. If and, and I'm not saying it's bad to have a family, but if you if you take time off to have a baby, this and that, you're not going to be getting paid. So it's going to bring down your average. I'm not saying it's right. Of course, I more have a baby, I have a family family's way more important than work for both parents you know what i mean fucking build your family for the, the dad too but that takes into that takes into you have to take that into account when you they're lowering your average because you're gonna make less money also men men are the ones doing these jobs that are a bit more like you know if they're trying to be ceos engineers all these things there's more men in it than women. nobody's stopping women from going in there but because there's more men in those fields and those fields make more money on average, if you look at it yeah they're gonna end up making more money but not because anybody's blocking but why the aren't there more doing. female ceos I don't know why they're not more famous. Maybe it's just the way that... What do women go for as jobs? Yeah. Maybe they don't want that because it's a pain. Dude, being a CEO... Fuck, man. All the CEOs that I know, apart from two who were all right, the rest were fucking psychopaths. They were on cocaine and Red Bull all the time. Yes, they would never it. fucking sleep. Re- but you, that's, not, that's not a man or a woman trait. That's not a man or a woman. But what I'm saying that's is... Just, it's just do, the job is fucked that's up. Not, that's, but that's, that's what I'm that's saying. A lot, of people, a lot of people, though, do you want to devote... If you want to be the CEO, if you want to be the best at anything, anything you want... We were talking about athletes before, okay? Mm-hmm. Forget men and women because there's women athletes, there's male athletes. If you want to be the best at something... Aren't you going to fucking devote your whole life and go fucking nuts at it? How many people in society are really willing to go the extra mile, sacrifice everything? Not a lot. Not a lot. Whether you're a man or a woman, you know what I mean? Not a lot. Or else, fuck, and, I don't know, and, I'd be in and, the NHL. And men have less to sacrifice. Yeah. Men have less to sacrifice. We don't have this clock ticking. Mm-hmm. Right? We don't have this clock ticking. I could still have kids. I could still be 70 and have kids. Shit. One of my uncle's father... Had a kid uh, younger than his kid, you know what I mean? So, so seventy or eighty, I don't remember what is. You can still do it. You can still. We do don't it. have that clock. That pressure. Thinking, that pressure. Uh, that if people and people talk about, you know, uh, you know, guys being um, less mature. Well, I believe that women have to mature faster. Yeah, they because do. Because yeah. of that clock. Yeah. Because of that clock, they have a clock. They have a clock. There's a, there, there's a time frame for them that we don't necessarily have. So yeah, by 18, w- w- women are more mature than men. T- they kind of have to because of you know life, because of that clock, that clock ticking. It sucks, but that's what it is. It's you know? but and that, that is the reality. That, we don't have think, that pressure. If you take mm. that in consideration, we don't have that pressure. You know, should we help? Should we do something about it? Yes, we could. 
we, we, we have to we, we could counter that but the fact of the, the fact the, the, the fact is that you know people don't go into necessarily these jobs because they don't want to sacrifice and they don't have the time to sacrifice yeah you're you know right I mean? I mean, my girlfriend's 35 does she have time right now to be like oh i'm gonna give it five years try to build this i'm gonna or am, am i gonna to have am i gonna have a kid what am i gonna do am i gonna have a kid within the next two years or whatever oh. i don't have that time frame I'm like, to the point where we had this conversation, she's like, yo, so uh, what's up? Like, boo-boo, honey, chicken, cherry, chow, honey, bunny, bunch. You tell me what's up. Because at 45, I can still have kids. Yeah. At 50, I can still have kids. You know what I mean? You have a... It's you, biological. How fucked is that? It's, it's bio- you, have, you have You know, you have the pressure society. You want to do well, yes. this and that. Imagine having that extra thing where you can't control. Your body's like, hey, man, what do you want to do? Because me and you right now, let's say we're 30. We're not even. We're 30 years old. But let's just say we're fucking uh, 35 going to 40 and you have these five years. And we're like, we could sacrifice these five years to build a company. I don't know. We want to sell fucking windows. Who cares? Yeah. And we go crazy for five years. We could sacrifice. Come yeah. back at 40. Start a fight. Nothing changed. Yes. For a woman, though, at 35, she's going to have to be like, do I want to take this risk? Yeah. Because oh if this company fails, that's it. I might not be able to have a family. I might not. It fucks them. It, and, it's and, a and, whole and, and, and it's all my, added pressure. And, and all my girls, they, they, they can say no, but all the girls that I have like around me, uh, they're always like, at the, and, and when they're around 40, like, huh. yeah. Yeah. They, they, they have that talk that, yep, I'm 40 and I don't have kids now. Like, well, but okay. Especially I'm if you want them. Yeah, yeah. And I'm 42. They kind of put a cross on it. You know what I mean? Like I had the, I had this boss that I, I used to work with. We were super cool with it, with, with with her and everything. And she, we had that talk. I'm like, yeah, I was chilling with a man that was married, and I kind of wasted my life. I kind of wasted my life. Now I'm not with him, and I'm 42. And yep, I wanted kids, but it's it's not gonna happen now. Now I have to go back put in a relationship right now for and start to build something and have kids. At what 45, 40? It's not gonna happen. You know what I mean? So she had that talk. It's di- it's different. Yes, I I believe in. Uh, it's difficult. I, I, yeah, it's difficult. I believe in equality, but the thing that happened and the, the thing that people that don't want people don't want to hear that is that men and women are not the same. No, we're we're, we're not. We're not. And we're not. But we're trying to make it like we are, but we're not. And I believe we're that, the same intellectually. Yes, we're the same on a lot of. But physically, obviously, we're not the same. Like uh, we've I've had this argument before about people who talk about like uh, sports. So, uh, oh, how come there's no interleague? Are you fucking? You want to play hockey? But, but that, guy? The, I'm not, and I'm not people, making fun of women. But I don't want personally. I don't want to see a fucking UFC fight where uh, I don't know. Uh, a guy is wailing. On a, a guy girl. is just fucking punching. Like imagine uh, who's who is it? Paige Van Zant or whatever the fuck. He's just getting punched in the fucking face. But, 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 but I don't want to see that. But shit. that's equality. So uh, what they want is equality or fairness. I, yeah, you see. Do you want to be fair or you want to be equal? Because that's two to me. That's two different things. Yeah, I don't find it. A, lo- a lot of my friends that are feminists are like, yeah, yeah, you shouldn't punch a woman. Whoa, right there. What you <laughs> said? What's the? What's your definition? And I had a, I had one of my friends that's uber feminist. She calls that's her words. Um, what's your definition of feminism? And she's like, well, equality. Okay. To what level? No, no. You said equality. Equality between woman and woman. Okay, that's what you said, right? Right. But you just said that a man can never punch a woman. That's not equal. That's an handicap. That like, means that whatever you do, I cannot reciprocate. I cannot. I cannot counteract because that's not equality. That's a handicap. You want equality when it suits you. <laughs> that's not equality, boo boo. I'm sorry. So you cannot be wanting equality and saying like, yeah, stuff, stuff like that. Like I like. Let's say you're out right now and, and there's a guy and. and, and there's a guy in this context, right? And he's fucking with you for some reason. He steps on, he's hitting on your girlfriend, he's stepping on your shoe or whatever. He fucking pushes you, tries to take a shot at you. It's a guy. What's going to happen is I'm going to react the way I do with men. I'm going to fucking knock the guy out. If it's a woman though, and she's stepping on me and she's knock pushing her out. me and she's knock trying to the fuck but out. No, no, but what I'm saying is Punch I her right in the pussy. But I won't pu- I won't knock her out. I'm going to try to restrain her and be like, "Fuck, I'm not going to This is crazy. Why would I?" But I think that even though that's not equality, let's say, I think that that's better because, dude, as a man, especially our size, we're big fucking guys. Dude, you could kill somebody you punched him the wrong way. You could kill a guy punching him the wrong way. They shouldn't Imagine have punched a, you. I, bro, bro, if you... Kill if him. You, I'm sorry. If you... Oh, every... It, listen, if it's I... It's fucked up. And we did a little video on that, but it's like a little a little thing that I do sometimes. All right? I go on. I, go, I told you about that shit, right? I go on YouTube. <laughs> I just look at women getting beat up. <laughs> no. Men that reply back, not just women. I'm not. I, I don't want to see women get it. But a girl that is there's there's a girl that's in there that thing that she has this thing around her. This 
bouclier, this, this, oh. this fucking, yeah, yeah, yeah. What you gonna do? What you gonna, and you get decked in the mouth? To me, it's just something that happened. You asked for it. What you gonna do? What you gonna, and then you get punched in the mouth? Well, m- well, he did, w- he, he, he answered. <laughs> did, you, did you see that <laughs> MMA fighter? Uh, transgender was a man, cut off his dick basically, became and started fighting against women. Just whooping them. Yeah, oh, until he got it's beat the same up thing by, for by weightlifting. a woman. Same, same thing for weightlifting. Weightlifting is someone who transferred, and now she, now her, him, I don't care what you call them, right? Breaking all the records for female categories in weightlifting. But yeah, it's, I don't know if that's fair because that's that's because oh, okay, you have the frame of a hey, man. You have we're, we're built not, differently. We're not we're equality, not dealing with right? hey that's equality. If she identifies as a woman, that's all that matters. That that's all that matters. So it's equal. That's equality. You can't be if you claim equality and you're pissed at the fact that this guy this guy you used to be a guy. It's not equality if I but if I it's, complain about it's it. A, it's not equality if you complain about it. It's well, equal. We're all equal, right? Look, man, okay. Well, what about the what, what, what about the bathroom stuff? Does that get you? I, I, I never, personally don't care. I, I don't never care. You piss wherever yeah, you want. I never I heard care. a good argument either for or against. Like the bathroom, uh, when you go to like when you go to the public restroom, do you fucking hang out with people? Are you holding their hands? Are you grabbing no. their dicks? No. I never look at these fucking people, so I don't care who's going in and out. Yeah, I don't care. Now it is weird if somebody's taking a huge shit in exactly. one of the stalls exactly. and it's just it, that's, crazy that's it's out, that's nuclear out, that's bomb, and then it comes out as some little lady. Yeah, that'd be fucking fun to watch. It'd be weird, but it's not going to stop me from going. To, to, to me, there should be two types of bathrooms. People want to take a shit. People want to piss. Exactly. Because right. when you want to take a piss, but you have that stench in your nose, he's right. He's you're right. Like God damn, I just want to take a butt. That the bathroom rest, makes more, the more sense to me. I don't, I don't know if women should be in bathrooms with dudes. Like just I don't on a regular. Tru- I don't trust dudes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's the thing. I yeah, don't yeah. trust dudes. Yeah. But I mean, if you want to, if you, if you go through the trouble of like dressing and doing all this shit and do whatever the fuck you yeah, want. Yeah, exactly. I don't care. I, don't I, don't care. Care. It's I not really gonna, don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. It's not going to... Like, I don't even know why. But I, I could see why women would be unsafe or feel unsafe. That's the thing. Some... It's not for... Because for me, as a guy, I don't give a shit if a woman comes over. It's up to her. I don't care. Yes. But if women feel unsafe because it's a man, a man dressed as a woman, then that's their... To them, I could understand that. Because like, yeah, you they're not going to be able to defend themselves the way I can. If somebody comes up behind me who's trying to rape me in a bathroom mm. or a little person trying to... I'm a huge guy. But fuck, if you're a little lady... And some guy in a dress comes, and he's built like us. What the fuck's gonna happen? He's winning that fight. Yeah. Or what happens with if it's a big, a big woman with a little guy? Same. Little guys always keep on doing this thing where you know a big guy and little. I know some little dudes. That'll fuck and shit up. Huge woman. <laughs> All right, and these women will fuck that dude up. <laughs> <laughs> Real good. I got one of my good friends. I was with her earlier. She will. That fuck girl. Him that up. girl is. That girl is five eight. All right. She does, she does, she does Brazilian does, Jiu-Jitsu. Doesn't play games. She, listen, if a little guy sort of try to come up, mm, bruh, it's done. It's done, so done. she won't be complaining about the bathrooms. No, she, she doesn't, doesn't give, give a, a fuck. fuck. She'll beat the she shit out. She doesn't give a fuck because she, she got that size, but we, we can't. But that's why we think like that. Like, I don't care because I, I don't feel threatened in the bathroom. I never, I feel disgusted a lot in public bathrooms, but I've never felt threatened. I understand why a woman yeah. would be. Yeah. Feeling tra- tra- like, I, 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 or someone, whatever. Like I remember when I when I, are you, how old were you? Thirty. Okay, I used to go out. Like, I was fifteen years old. A ball back. The clubs in Montreal were really, 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 really wild. Really, yeah. Shootings, <laughs> stabbings, uh, pepper spray, and stuff like that. And that was my high school. We used yo. We used to <laughs> we used to go to to these clubs and when we we, we always say yo if some shit pop off, don't go in the bathroom, cause that's. You're closed That's off. That's a dead end. You're closed off. You can't go nowhere. You understand? So I understand why people would, would feel unsafe in a bathroom. Yeah. The, just the bathroom itself is just like a, a cul de They could block the it's exit. It's a cul de sac. And you're fucked. You're you know? done. You're done. If that guy is in a gun and, with a gun and un, standing at the doorway, that's it, bruh. That, <laughs> that was it. That's it. So you never go. You never aim to the bathroom. The, the bathroom is just a, you know, it's just a pit. I think it was an after hours club downtown. The first place I went to that had... Uh, the genderless bathrooms that it's just everybody, guys and girls that are in it. That it was, was uh, not area. No, that was, no, that was uh, it's still on circus. It no? might have been. Yeah, circus. It's Montreal it East. Circus. Yeah, Saint circus. Catherine. Circus. Yeah, circus. So I and I remember it was the first, and I had no idea. So I kept getting confused. Like I was going in, I saw I was like, oh, I'm going the wrong one. And then I was, but then another guy went in. Another, I was like, wait, where the fuck? Am I the one who's going the wrong bathroom? Or are they going the wrong bathroom? But he's like, no, bro, piss wherever the fuck you, you want. Just want to go to the yeah. bathroom? Yeah. yeah, everybody wants to go to the bathroom. Yeah, exactly. So just do your he's thing. like, just go in. I was like, oh, just okay. do your thing. Because I was worried. Imagine accidentally going the wrong bathroom. People take it the wrong fucking way. Yep. Like, look at this pervert. 
Yeah. Right? I don't want to get I use the women's the bathroom a lot. So when if I need to take a shit. I've done that a lot. Yeah, because they're cleaner. Yeah, they're cleaner. What? No, no, no. Not that the... Listen. Not at the they, clubs. Yeah, but not at the clubs. Okay. Yeah. But in a lot I've of, been a busboy, bro. <laughs> And yeah. the worst bathroom or the women? I don't know what they do. When I was in high school, I worked at Harvey's. I went into the f- women's bathroom once, okay? Once. And then I kept tricking other people to clean it up. I went in once. I thought I was going to have a heart attack. Yeah. I saw everything from shit yep. to blood stains. Yes. And I was like, whoa, yes. what I the don't know. fuck? I don't know what the... Yeah, in, I don't know, know what... Clubs, like, there was an explosion. Somebody died in here. I was like, yo. I left. I signed my name that it was clean. Never did again. Yep. Always found excuses. Yep. I was never went back in there again. Scared the shit out of me. <laughs> yeah, in restaurants and in fucking, in fucking clubs, bro. <laughs> Nah, no, I don't even look at them. I hate it when they have the unisex bathroom. I'm like, I got shit with these savages now. <laughs> I, got you know I, mean? I got to share it with Dude, these. In clubs, it's, it's a thing. The, 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 the new, the, the new busboy was cleaning the woman's bathroom. <laughs> He's like, oh, this, new, this should be easy. And you know what the thing is? Is that there's always a drain in the woman's bathroom. Oh. There's a drain. And I was used to, that's, I used to take a bucket full of hot water at the end of the night and just whoosh, whoosh everywhere. <laughs> all over the walls. Yeah, yeah, all over the walls, everywhere. That Let that shit drip because, yo, you don't want, uh, the number of times I had to put a plastic bag up to here. Oh, bro. And just go and <laughs> to unclog a fucking bath. Yo, listen. The fucking anyways. Toilet. Anyways. <laughs> He's like, nope. So I don't take these jobs. I don't want to hear yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. That's why I don't even want to hear it's about it. It's like this. students who are like, I'm going through an exam. Shut the fuck Shut up. Shut the fuck up. I yeah. didn't go to school for a reason. <laughs> kill I didn't yourself. go to I didn't go to school. I didn't, yeah, I didn't go to I did not I, I didn't I did not not go to school <laughs> to hear about your to hear story. about your school bullshit. Bitch. And, you, and your crippling student debt. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> you made that choice. Assume it and just suffer in silence, you know? Uh, Speaking of debt, did you hear the new mayor? Uh they said they're finally cutting quotas for cops. Yeah. But weren't they saying for years quotas didn't exist? Yeah. The what? Yeah, they were the saying quotas, for years. You know, cops had yeah, quotas. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Bro, I'm black. Of but course for I know. Ye- well, But for <laughs> years, what were they saying? Oh, this is not true. Quotas course, aren't real. Of course. So of how, course. how are you canceling Bro, quotas if the they're first, not real? The first city that had quotas was my city, Longay. That's the first city that had quotas. And then everybody got on. Yo, when you were when you were driving in Longay, uh, oh my God. Woo! Yo, you when you were do do you do you M? Yo, <laughs> DUM is uh, driving under melanin. Um, melanin. They would yeah, melanin. You know, black. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, they would stop you for DUM, dumbass reason for no reason because they had quotas and they had quotas here. Now the thing that happened is that they're gonna stop the quotas, but they're gonna increase. They're gonna increase uh, the the tickets by 70 percent, uh, the cost of the tickets. But I'm I'm with it. I'm with it. I, I'm with getting rid of the quotas because I feel like if you a cop is gonna actually do a job of yes. stopping rapes and this and that, he can't be in the back of his head like, oh, I got oh quotas. shit, I, I gotta got go quotas. give a parking ticket. I got quotas. You know what I mean? Yeah. And and if you, you want to increase it, increase it. At least the cop is not gonna look for dumb shit for yeah, for, 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 like for dumb shit for uh, to, to find on you and to give you a, a ticket and a quarter. You know what I, I mean? That shit. They 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 did it and they, yo, I got good with with my words. Sometimes I could talk, I could talk a cop into not giving me a ticket. Yeah, I've talked my way out of a because couple. I, yeah, bro, what you doing is yo, it's bullshit. You know it's bullshit, right? Well, I don't want to argue. Well, if you don't want to argue, try to stop people for the good reasons. And it's like, well, then you know, if you don't want to argue, let me go and go back in your car and I'll be fine. Because right now you're not doing shit. Way longer than my argument. My argument was always like, come on, dude. Am I black? Like, just go. Come on. What <laughs> this the? guy. And, uh, <laughs> and I called him nigger, too. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that dude. That's Fuck me. Fault. Yeah, that's Piece my fault. Piece of shit. <laughs> um, just, just an asshole. Yeah, so I'm, 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 I'm with it. It does make sense what you're saying. Yeah, I'd rather I'm have it. a 17% surcharge. Shit, increase it 25. I don't give a fuck. As long as they're not fake tickets, what, as, what as, do I give a fuck? Then I have to take some time to contest that shit and make, you know, fuck that shit. No. Hey. Did you know that when you contest a fucking ticket, you could go downstairs apparently and get some money back for a time missed at work or whatever? I didn't know that. I contest tickets all the time. Yes. I've never asked for money. Yes. I'm a pro. I'm just so this. happy winning. I'm, I'm a, like, that's I'm right. Quitted. Quitted. <laughs> There's a lot of things you could do, man. You could go, you could fight for you. You could, uh, you know, there was a time when it was, uh, that was, a, that was a, <sighs> the golden days of uh, tickets. <laughs> the golden if days. The, if the cop didn't show up, Oh, yeah. That was the good old days. If the cop didn't show up to contest the ticket, you were winning yeah. automatically. That didn't last for long. No? That is, no, it didn't last for long. No. And then they stopped that, and then, you know, the cop didn't have to show up. They have, like, someone that, to, to represent them, and you have to contest the I'm pretty shit. sure it's like that in Ontario. It, if the cop doesn't show it's up, it's possible. Done. I'm talking about Quebec. Yeah, right here, now. though, it's, it's very weird. No, not, not anymore. Mine not anymore. didn't show up the first time in July, so what they did is they, they pushed it to October. I went in October with Poseidon as my witness, and the cop shows up last minute. I was like, oh, maybe he won't show up. 
And then I'm trying to. Uh, they you had me, a greet God as your fucking witness. That is amazing. But they, I didn't understand. But he's like, you, you know that you're gonna, you're the lawyer. Basically, you're gonna cross examine your witness <laughs> wow. and the cop. And I was like, all right. <laughs> so I'm cross examining yeah. the cop, which was easy as yes. hell because the cop was a moron. He yes. he kept saying stuff like, I got him now, right in the back of my head. But then this fucking idiot comes beside him. I'm cross examining him, and he is saying the dumbest things. Like I'm, I'm like, fuck, don't say that. Don't. He's saying how fast he was going. Right, he was driving behind me. And how do you remember the exact number? He's like, yeah, I was going 51. I'm like, oh, Jesus fucking Christ. It looks so fake that the judge looks at us at the end and he's like, I don't trust the cred- credibility of either of you, you or your witness, but I trust the credibility of the cop even less. You're acquitted. Wow. I was that's like, what? Amazing. I was like, what? And Poseidon's like, did, did we lose, bro? Did we win? I don't know what that means. That, I was like, acquitted, that, bro. That's what? amazing. The cop was furious. I went like a sports uh, like a sports guy. I was like, hey, man, good job, whatever. And the cop just... No, 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 no. They're not your friends. <laughs> no, they hate they're me. not. You think cop, yo, they, you, yeah, you grow up thinking that cops are your friends. They're not your friends. <laughs> they don't like us at all. They're not your friends. All right. If your nose bleed, I know what to do. Just pinch on yeah. that shit. Put your head back. Don't go to a cop. Just don't. He's going to beat you up for bleeding don't. on him. Don't. Listen. You, or, <laughs> he's going to beat you for up. Littering. For littering. Ble- bleeding while black. <laughs> That's bro. right. Like, littering. Oh, man, I'm going to give you a ticket because it happened. It, that, that happened, actually. Littering for what? What, what happened? Yeah, because uh, they beat. I think there was there was police brutality uh, back in Los Angeles. I don't remember where it was, and the cops charged. They gave a ticket for because there was blood on his on his uniform. Oh, and Jesus they gave a ticket Christ. to the guy. That was yeah, something like that. I'm, I'm, yeah, I saw an article like that. Amazing. Of but course, there, I don't fuck around. Like here, I'll throw little jabs. Like I, like I'll fuck if they're in a restaurant. I'll say something just to piss them off because they don't do anything. But in Los Angeles, you know how I know you that don't I talk. Have, Dude, you don't talk to cops. I went to a, a gas station just to get Ever. gum. I'm inside getting gum, wasting time. It's late. I was going to the uh, the comedy store. It was, it was late at night. Mm. And I go in, whatever, and the cop car, they're the black and white ones, they come in, the two cops, were just with their faces. I think it was like a Mexican guy and a white. Just with their faces, I was like, I'm not even looking. And I was just don't. paying for my Bro. shit, looking straight. I was like, I know this. Don't say it. Because you know when you feel it because you're so matter. It doesn't like, matter. Nope. It doesn't matter if they're... If they're Mexican oh, or white or whatever, you can beat the shit out of me, bro. It does. It doesn't matter where. <laughs> no, if no, they, if they didn't look friendly at all. If, if you're black, white, whatever, Mexican, they don't whatever, give a fuck. And you're a cop. You're none of those things. No, you're, you're a, a cop. cop. You're a cop. <laughs> all right. It doesn't matter. They looked angry, like as if the fucking gas station did something to them yeah. already. Like when they, they didn't come in, like, hello guys, or what are the? Po-? They literally came in just looking around and everybody grabbing stuff and. It was one of those moments where you're like, just stay quiet, motherfucker. Don't say anything stupid. Like, I was actually nervous thinking, like, is this going to be it? Is this, I'm going to say something stupid, get beat up, and everybody's going to make fun of me in Montreal? <laughs> he goes to Los Angeles. He's there for three days and nah, gets the shit kicked out of him. LAPD's trash, man. Yeah, LAPD they are. No, that's what I'm saying. I didn't feel, I, I've been to Alberta where I met police officers and I was like, wow, this, you feel like a small, like, what are you, a sheriff? Like, just not, how's everybody doing? Do you guys need directions? I was like, what is this? Like, I've never seen a cop like this. Like, you're actually, you actually seem friendly. And then over there, they come in menacing, like a fucking street gang. You're like, oh, God, like, why? Yeah. This is awkward. So, Toronto, during Caribana, they're super nice. They're super nice. I don't know any other time of the year how they are. I try not to meet them any other time of the year. But compared to whenever we have Carrie Fiesta here, the police here... <laughs> They're jackasses. Oh, here they're no. They're just all geared up in SWAT team shit and tired, just looking at us. Yeah, just pass what you're, you know, saying trying for niggas. It's all good. Do you remember that? I don't like, I don't know. Do like, I remember that? Yeah, I thought maybe you forgot. I thought maybe you're over it. <laughs> you're not over Je it. Je me mon ami. <laughs> I will never forget that shit. What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, my God. I, I found out a day late. I found out, and I, it was, I found out, it was the time when I met you. You remember at the, the M bar? It was those two days around there that it had you happened. You were injured. I was injured. Yeah, it was then with my arm. Remember? Yeah, I remember. Oh, bro, it was a I was n- I was not in town. I was in uh, I was not in town, and I sent him the link <laughs> to this shit, and he's like, "Man, I don't really think nothing of it." I'm like, "Bro," and I keep on people. Yo, our message. We we kind of became poster boys and shit like that. But people want us to solve their problems, like you know, <laughs> with a Justice League or something. Yeah, good. And then <laughs> they sent us link, and I'm like, "No, bro, you don't understand." And he's like, "Oh shit, this is getting worse and worse." But he's, he, I think you called me, and you was dying of laughter. Like, oh my God, they fucked up so bad. I'm like, yeah, dude, yeah. They they own that shit. I didn't notice at first. More people were talking about it. I was like, ah, they're probably wrong. And then I see the first video. It was like four black guys on the side. I was like, oh, Jesus Christ, this looks terrible. This is, <sighs> there's no way. But just the look of it. Yeah, it looked so bad. <laughs> I remember seeing it. I just went. 
Like, I, yeah. like, I wasn't upset. I just laughed. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Cause Cause I, I, my, my line was like, it's so racist. It had to be unintentional. Yes. Absolutely. There's no way you guys purposely thought of this imagery. There's no way you guys did this on purpose. Was there a meeting? Like, who? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, all right, this is how racist we're going to be. We're going to surround them with Listen, old white people. They're, they're never going to notice. They're never gonna the notice. white people are going to dress in white. No hoodies. All right. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Come the hoodies on. is not subtle enough. Yo, listen, that was, that was amazing. I was like, bro, they fucked up. No, no. Watch the video. It's great. It's what fucking a, great. What about uh, the people pushing the float? It was amazing. The kids? The teenagers? They're probably they were like, wait, does this... The, the, like, the float was broken. This look? The float was, was broken. broken. What? It was broken. That's why it was so hard to push. Eventually, it was so eventually, they had they had other people help the kids because the kids were no. Nah, they, they had them help the kids for two minutes and then they just abandoned it. Yes, abandoned even the white people abandoned. were like, "This is too hard." It was like, uh-huh. and the niggas don't want to do it anymore. So we stop. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> and that shit. Oh my god. People were like, "That's not racist." Listen, let's say we do Caribana or Cari Fiesta in Montreal. We have a float. Are we allowed to have a, a, our own float for that? Yes, of course. We're how, black. How, how do we join that? I'll, I'll tell you. Because I'm thinking, I'm thinking, we're that, black people. I'm thinking, and you know what we could do? French Canadian, you know, Marquis, yo, bonjour, I'll, high I'll, I'll in I'll the push back. Bonjour, high It'll in the back. would be hilarious. Because we already have volunteers. You know what? JB and them, they're down. We'll we can literally put frog shirts <laughs> and then we can have them push and the float. And bonjour, high in the back. How fucking egregious do you think that was going to feel like? Exactly. And then we could say it's an honest mistake. <laughs> you know, we didn't know it would offend. And we could have, as we're saying sorry, we could have them in a chain. But there's Mae West and Pepsi on the float? Oh, no, no, we can have wow. them in a chain, like right beside us, like as like lap dogs. And then they'll speak French, like, uh, no, in English, like, uh, during the interview. And then we. <laughs> That's amazing, actually. Like, he's like, like we're going to get like, trouble. Oh, it's so bad? Yeah, we could. I, I don't think Carrie Fiesta would let us. No. No, they'd be like, it's supposed no, to be a time because of they, you know, Because, you know, they would look at it and be like, mm, that's wrong. You know, like, you know, what. Yeah, they would the put some thought that into it. Should have done. Yeah, you know. And they're like, mean? oh, this seems like it'll offend people. Not like the other one, where they're like, I feel like there's nothing wrong with this. I feel like the, this the, is the, worst, the worst thing is that their response, the response of the mayor at the time was like, Nah, man, we you know included uh, all diversities. I'm like, Jesus Christ, bro, that. <laughs> could you but you know what? We could do our own thing. We could do like one of those sultan things, you know, where they carry it on the shoulder, and then we could put someone on a throne on top of it, right? We could we could do that. We could put like two people on the throne, and we have four white dudes carrying it in frog shirts. <laughs> And, and you know what we do? We do it in the summer. We do it in the summer or spring when they close down St. Catherine and they got all the patios. And we wouldn't even need a festival or anything. We could no. just do it right in the middle of St. Catherine, walking down the whole way. We're going to get in trouble. Bro, It'll the be amount though. of publicity and videos. And we're like, yeah, we're trying to celebrate Montreal's diversity and uh, how white people are uplifting us. <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> Do you guys yeah, see the you listen, the, it could, it could, listen. No, no not the, only it could, oh my that video God. would blow up. There would be so many cell phone videos of everyone going crazy. But people wouldn't understand but then you'd have satire. Yeah, you'd you know have, have I mean? the random That's why we be, we go so egregious. going crazy. No, we have so, we go so egregious. We, we, we go so over, like the frog shirt, we make it a big frog shirt, okay? Like we go very hard in the paint with the frog stuff. What else can we do? So we put bonjour high on the top, then you know we're doing it on purpose to yes. irritate people. There's no, if you put the bonjour high on the top of like the thing. But it's like, it's like you know, no, not necessarily because what the kids were wearing looked like fucking slave garments. Yeah. But they were saying, no, c'est les pages d'un livre. It's the Is that what page, they said? Yes, it represents the pages of a, of a book. It's a very and there's and, there, and there, there's, so, there's, a, there's a very nice, interesting book. There's a very nice poem written on it, and we didn't see shit. We just saw brown fucking uh, potato fucking bags. And <laughs> Listen, bruh. But that's what they, we could go as egregious <laughs> as that. But they said no, 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 hold on. It's the pages of the book. And then you know what we could do? That's what it represents. When we're when they're asking us how could we let this pass the whole thing that we're doing, we could show them like a picture of our board meeting, and it's just black people. And we're like, that's a great idea. That's a fantastic <laughs> idea. And then, yo, listen, when I say it, just we could that, do... Just that as a sketch. Not even like as a parade parade. We could do it as a sketch and put that I shit out. I do it for real. And put, yeah, put if that you do it for real, sh- forget, having, forget having the whole black board. Just have me and they're going to be like, did you pass? I'm like, yeah, there's nothing wrong with this. What are you talking about? Yeah. It lo- looks clean to me. Yeah, I volunteered my students because it was students who did yeah, it. Yeah. Right? We could have him be the coach. <laughs> like, I volunteered my students for this. And you put that shit out on the... 24th of the, of uh, June. Me and Poseidon looked over this. It looks fucking like bro, it looks great. Bro. We do it like two days before uh, the Saint Jean. Yep. Like so the 23rd. It could be like a new or the, the, the day before. 
the, the day before. And you know what the worst part I'm getting is? getting hard just thinking about it, bro. <laughs> all that anger nope. and all that upsetness. Oh, I'm, wow. laughing at, I'm laughing at the you mayor. get off at this, right? I'm yeah. still laughing at that mayor. Like, he's, he, the next morning he wakes up, he looks at his phone, he's like, huh, look at these black guys. We try to include them in our parade and they're bitching. <laughs> <laughs> You know what that's we could pretty do? much what it was. That's what happened, yeah. And we, and we could wear we could wear hijabs uh, while we do it too, just to like add. <laughs> just keep Christ. adding. We'll just add hijabs. Layers. Yeah, well, we could just layers. I layers. wonder how much we have to do before somebody's like, let's assassinate them. Let's, let's assassinate let's them. Let's go for a hit. Oh, that like, murder's gonna be on our ass. <laughs> yeah. After this, yeah. after this, we you, you we're gonna yo listen. Mariana Mazza received some 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 death threats from La Mer. You know what I mean? So imagine. I think people would know we're joking though. No. But not oh, the man. people the people not who, this shit yeah. again. Really? Yeah. I really think that people would really the people that are gonna get the joke are gonna laugh. Fuck but forget here. the people that are gonna get the joke. The people, people that are not gonna get the joke are really fucked up. Like yes. I guarantee you, if you would do yes. this in St. Catherine, yeah. there's gonna be drunk people who are gonna see them. Not like, during oh, the day. They're gonna start you know what? Nah. Is, is I'm the, here to rescue oh, you. Oh man, you're stupid. During the day, nah. Oh, they're there. What are you talking about? Look, you're stupid than Nah, during the day, nah. Dude, I spent so much time on St. Catherine dude, during dude. the day. No. Last summer, I was going to buy comic books. I had my girlfriend with me on St. Catherine. We're walking. And there was a French guy, an old guy, drunk, yelling at a guy who didn't even look Arab in French to get the fuck out of the country yes. and chasing him. And, yes. and the guy wasn't saying anything. He was so, just walking, like, trying to, you know, get away from him. And he didn't even look Arab. Like, my girlfriend's like, what the fuck is he saying? Like, she's freaking out. I was like, yeah, it's downtown. It's going to happen. Worst, it's like 3 o'clock in the afternoon. The worst place you could do this shit is downtown. Is downtown. Downtown exactly is not we're doing it. Downtown is not rich. Downtown's poor as fuck. Yeah. Ashlem and stuff like that. Don't let the condos fool you. Yo, there's a bunch of people that shouldn't be there. You know what I mean? Oh, homeless Tr- people. You know? Yo, trust okay. me. Nah, man. No, you don't even understand. But I live okay. in the village. We'll do it right there. You can't, you you know, can't, we'll do you it can't, right in the village. You can't be, you know, su- and you can't be surprised. Sh- if that shit happened, you can't be surprised. And after that, get bump, bump tr- threats and going, shit like that. You know? For That's sure, we're going to get that. This whole studio that I put so much work in is going to get blown up. It's gonna be a great sketch, and then we'll have uh, we'll have we'll have some f- white people coon for us, and just betray their race. We'll, yeah, we'll, get, we'll get them. race traitors. <laughs> we'll be like Mike Ward. How do you feel about all this? Yeah. <laughs> I think it's funny as hell. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think it's fucking funny. They're gonna get so mad. Yeah, you know, if we get endorsements from a few of the white leaders, uh, the I think white leaders. Who yeah. are the white leaders? <laughs> You're stupid. As fuck. <laughs> the white leaders. The white leaders. If we do that, I think we're safe. Who do? Is there, are there white leaders in in North America? In Quebec, there's Mike Ward. He's a uh, he's a white leader. You're making him sound like a fucking. He really he's a is clansman. He, he's a white leader. He's a white leader. Is he's he? A, he he leads the whites. Yeah, he does. He, he lead, Yeah, he leads. He leads. He Who leads. else? The um, young whites, maybe Philip Roy. Philip Roy. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Phil is short for Philip. Yeah, but it's Philip Roy. Philip Roy. So like I was saying, and who else? My name is Preach, not Paul Eric. Like, Philip Wah. That's his name. But your name is Paul Eric. His name is Philip, but he's still Philip But Wah. your real name is Paul Eric. Yes. Okay. The third. So why when people are like, what's Paul your name? Eric you're like, third. Preach. But like, what's your real name? Paul Eric the third. There you go. Who's so another f- important leader here in Quebec? The family that owns saint Yeah. <laughs> Touché, motherfucker. <laughs> Touché, motherfucker. saint Spire and Benny. They're very important. I, th- I think this may be the greatest sketch we can possibly plan. <laughs> Someone's uh, going to get in trouble. Yes. Someone's yeah. going to get killed over this. Yeah. yeah. I'm down for it, though. Do you remember when, what was it, Marois, I think, had one when that guy tried to shoot her yep. or something? Yep. People, people without a sense of humor take it to an and extreme someone, and someone And someone actually died. Oh, it's, did they? Yeah. What did Marois say? There was though? a technician. No, she won. When she won uh, Chef Reed's party and everything and stuff, she was the leader of the Parti Québécois. Uh, and, and she won her elections. Uh, she um, some guy with a some rifle. Guy with a rifle came backstage of Metropolis and shot, tried to shoot at her. One technician died. That's fucked, bro. Word. That's fucked. Imagine like how shitty is your life that you can go in like Quebec politics and go shoot Pauline Marois. What, what? How how sad is your life? You're gonna go shoot up a mosque. Yeah, how they do. Sad, yeah, that's how, what they did. How sad it is. How, how sad is your life that you're gonna go inside a mosque and shoot them, thinking that they're the people that are wrong. And you're probably fucking Christian, not knowing that Christianity was exactly like, uh, like not even Muslims, but um, 
You mean like as violent, like it has a violent the past. extremists. Yeah, of course. Every, they were extre- every religion. Every religion has extremists. And has that. You think Bo- Buddhists are super peaceful and everything? So? Yo. They will kick your Yo, fucking there, ass. Yo, there's some people, there's some extremist Buddhists, and they're not yeah, nice. There's, there's a- they're every not person. Nice. You have the extremists. Just yes. like comedy, we were talking about. You're going to have people right now in this city that are going to get the jokes. They're going to be like, oh, we're here. And in the same fucking city, you have people the other way. Like, what the fuck are these guys talking about? And most of the time, it's not. Gonna, it's going to be people that are not from the city. Mm. And not from the city. They're not going to get it. Like, sometimes most hate that we get from the, the, the videos, it's not people to follow us, right? It's because one person liked the thing, and then his aunt saw the thing. And was like, And then she starts going off because she didn't decide to see the video, but she sees it because, you know, her son or her, 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 her nephew liked that shit. And then she sees it, and then she doesn't understand because, you know, that's the spun of the public sib, but she, she still sees it. You understand? I like it when they this, write letters or comments. It's the best. Yo, this motherfucker just from when we did this shit on Trump wrote in tags Trump. Now we have people from the states loving Trump, being like, "Well, get out of the fucking states. We don't live there, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> we live there. Like, why the fuck are you in the United States of America? These two niggers <laughs> are in the United States. <laughs> the Ima- you just said yo. That. I'm like, we're not. We're just." No, this is not. We're not in the states, bro. Not even. Well, you didn't talk about. Yeah, nobody talks about Hillary and fucking the Clintons. What? Yes, that's what this video is about. Yeah, they're this the ones who fucked is, up Haiti. <laughs> this, 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 this was the video about, and we have a bunch of people not we're not watching the videos and shit like that. Well, no, they, so, they look at the first ten seconds. They look at the title, it. and they're like, "Oh, these and guys." The, yeah. So what, what? What's gonna happen with this sketch? Oh, forget that. It's done. Bomb shit and shit. This we'll sketch, to, yeah, it will piss off a lot and, of and people. And the thing that happened, the protocol, whenever we get bomb threats that, or, or death threats, is you have to call the cops. Ugh. You have to call the cops. You have to call, you know, because if some shit happens, they're going to be like, okay, you had all these bomb threats, but you never called us? Pfft, oh, well, too bad for you. You understand? So, you, yeah, I don't want to have to call the cops. I actually, if, you have, if you have death threats and bomb threats, you have to, I actually have to call the RCMP. Oh, I don't want to deal with... Dude, I hate dealing with cops. I don't want to deal with them. You know what I mean? Oh, it's the worst. I'm still going to do the joke, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, we're going to have to deal with, with that. You, speaking of jokes, uh, I was talking uh, Sunday, I was at the Nest, and I was talking with Wasim about uh, people that get offended easily, like even comics, that they have like soft, uh, very brittle ears and soft skin. And I was talking about how you, you're the opposite of that. That's why we get along, because we share on each other. And I was giving the example of uh, a couple of weeks ago, this kid doesn't sleep, right? He's not. He's fucking messaging me at four thirty in the morning. But I was awake because the cops were in my building. They were trying to break into some guy's house downstairs. So I'm fucking telling him. He, I'm like, dude, why don't you go to sleep? He's like, why are you awake? And like the cops came in. They fucking buzzed my my door to get in. And then they swear at me, not like, oh, we're sorry, they're like as if I'm a fucking problem. And then you could hear they're trying to break in the guy's house. They broke the whole door down. The door was completely destroyed in pieces. So I'm telling this to him. And what does he reply? He's like, I hope that they break into the wrong house. They break into your house. He goes think you're black, shoot you, he goes, and then I'm going to come to your funeral, he says, and I'm going to protest, but only lightly, because you ain't shit. This is the message he sends me at 5 o'clock in the morning. This is his message. At 5 o'clock in the morning, this is what he fucking sends me. Not, oh, it sucks that they woke you up or something. He's like, I hope they fucking shoot you, he says. Sounds accurate. Yes. <laughs> that's what Sounds like the Abba I know. There you go. But that's the thing. So we can laugh at it and fuck around, but a lot of comics have these soft, like, oh, are you making fun of me? Or you, you don't like me? Do- you know double, I mean? double standards. Yeah, double guess. standards again. Your job is to laugh at people, but you cannot take it. You, you cannot take it, bitch. Get the fuck out of my. But face. this was also you hilarious can't. at five in the morning because it's like Listen, there's like he doesn't, it's not off. He's like fuck you, bro. I hope they shoot. I'm like this with everybody. I hope they shoot. If you can't, if you can't take a joke, you shouldn't be doing comedy. Yeah, we've said that before. We said that before. You shouldn't be doing comedy. You're coming. And you're like, well, this person made fun. Shut the fuck up. Safe space comedy. That's that's not uh, comedy. Is that a thing? It is a thing. It is. Of course, a thing. it's a huge thing. It's a huge thing. Huge nigga. No, Don't you can't worry. say it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. French comedy, French comedy's you. a little bit behind. <laughs> Don't worry. Saying? Ten years, you guys are going to have safe, safe space. space. Like You're already comedy. seeing it right now. You're already seeing it yeah. right now. French They're fighting back. Like, French, French comedy is like more like 50. Yeah, how is the French scene though? Are they, are they uh, PC like that? What do you mean? Are they scared? Like right now in They're the English PC scene, about random bro, shit. We're, we're, you can say shit listen, and get listen, in trouble. We are, I say we because I do mostly French comedy, but we are behind English comedy. Okay. That's what I think. Though, although the new generation, uh, they watch a lot of English comedy, and that's wonderful, and that's why they're so. I, I believe one of the reasons why they're they're really they're really um, strong, right? Um, but we're we're still behind. And French comedy from France or thirty 
to 35 years behind. Yeah, I, but you not, know what the, I noticed? The, not the young ones because the young ones that now they, they understand English and they understand that new shit. They understand that new, you know, they won't steal jokes imagine, and shit like imagine that. Imagine if Wasim was a Frenchman, he'd be nationally headlined. Yeah. Yes. That, yeah. That, that, that's their level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You dig what I'm saying? Like, yeah, there are yeah. headliners over there. I listen to their jokes, their premises. Wasim writes just as well, if not better. Than, if me, I'd be the king, but Wasim would be like the headliner. No, no, I, I see what you're saying. I've noticed that th- it's not, a lot of it isn't traditional stand-up the way we have it here, too, in France. It's more of a one-man show type of thing. Like, there's a lot of acting very in it. Yeah, very theatrical. Yeah, very theatrical. Because, I, yeah, I've seen a couple of them, like, at the Bordel and stuff like that. This a comedy club I used to work at. And around that, uh, watching shows, I had my Zoo Fest Pass last year, so I went to see a couple of the shows. And even on, I watched some videos that they have on the web, like um, Jamel Comedy Club, which okay. is a big thing over there. It's it's, it's the biggest thing. Over there. Yeah, if you do that show, you're like big, big. Really? Yeah. So they do their thing, but like I've seen I've seen this woman do her, her, her thing in like seven minutes before the first joke. Like that's, oh, that's a too long, long ass. But, but to them, it's fine because it's to still them, theater. It's, it's, like, it's, it's a still show. it's still it's still a person talking. To us, it's like. Un conférencier du charisme. I could appreciate that, giving you the chance, but I'm so used to not giving people that kind of a chance to be like, all right, man, be fucking funny. It's been seven minutes. It's too long. Seven minutes is you, way too you long. You lose them. Seven minutes is long. Yo, bro, two minutes is long. Dude, two minutes. There's people here that have seven minute sets. Like, that's all they have is five minutes worth yeah. of jokes, let's say. Imagine your whole set is not a joke. Yes. It's yes. fucking crazy. Which happens here often too. <laughs> yeah, well, the standards are, are pretty low. But and, and, and it's it's very it's very different. Like Anglo's or don't laugh about the same thing as francophones. Yeah, yeah, it's a whole different. The context is the, way different. There, there's two types of of of, of comedy that I, f- I find. There's a comedy on TV. Comedy on TV is what sells. It's very old, very cliche, very old and cliche. Very like I, I feel like it's corn. Yeah, yeah, it's corny. Cheesy. Corny. Cheesy. corny. Corny. Corny and hacky yeah. as fuck in French, and there's the, the, the there's like the comedy that you see in bars. Uh, that's a new shit. That's you're gonna see some good shit. You're gonna see some people that are actually good more in bars than like in, in, in comedy nights and stuff like that. Than you see on TV. On TV, there's a bunch of people that are gonna get cut, but really they're just gonna think about your name. Yeah, that person used to sell a ton of tickets like fucking 15 years ago. We're gonna have him on, but that person has been off. Spin off comedy and he's doing TV shows and shit like that. And that person's crap. And I've seen that person fail at comedy at the and in, you know his name is gonna sell. And that's what they do. They put them on and they cut a bunch of people that are really good, really fucking good. You know what I mean? Sometimes this shit is really corny. And then you have people that in both languages are funny. Like Mike Ward could do both languages yeah. and still be fucking funny. Yeah. Even though the context of the jokes are supposed to be different in the languages, right? It's not the same thing they find funny. He's funny in either fucking because, language. Because he doesn't he doesn't his comedy is not is about situation. Yeah. It's not about Puns well, because he's a or comedian. Fucking turn on words or shit. That's like the that. thing. He's, it's, he it's, talks about funny and, fucking and, things. And funny thing about like he's he, you read. Abba's recently been you know started re talk about like, like in French and shit like that. And it's comedy in French. It's good. There you go. It's fucking good. And it's better than a lot of French comedians I know. But he's a you. You have a dude here that's translating his joke from English to French, and it's killing you, motherfuckers. That mu- that must feel like shit if you're like but I'm a just seasoned like, yo, comedian. You got this dude. You oh. got this dude. <laughs> he's, he's he's from Ottawa, translating his fucking joke, and he's how how the fuck is he killing you? How people how? just retire right there? They're like, oh, yeah. how do you do? How does that Au even revoir. happen? See, but th- there's that thing that happens. So, and there's some people that really fucking kill it in French. There's some people that are really good people that kill it in French. But there's that hacky feeling where they have to do old shit, old shit because unfortunately that's what sells, and the business is towards old shit. Now it's changing because the the, the young ones are. Are so strong and shit like that, and I'm talking about young. I'm talking about like ten years in the business and old, and, and and younger. You know what I mean? But yeah, they're really, really, really strong. But what do you guys want to do? You guys want to stay in uh, in Montreal? I, I, no I, f- I talked to Ab a bit about this. We talked about like small tours and that, but in general, in life, what are you thinking? You like Montreal? You want to stay what here? What are you thinking? I have no fucking clue. I don't know. I don't know. I'll see. What, like I'm new to this shit. Yeah. First, let me just fucking master this shit. I'm not done mastering it. I'm not you, done oh, mastering it. it. You're never going to master it. Not master it, but, but I'm not. 
you know I, what I, I know what you're saying. You know, you know what I mean? I'm not talking about like, being a master and everything. I'm just saying, like, I'm, I'm not, I, I have to work on my shit. Yeah, which is Listen, the right fucking I mindset. I have to work you. on my shit. Let me work on my shit first. Like, we did we did this podcast, like, two weeks ago, last week, and then, like, last week, and this, this guy asked us, like, yeah, when are you going to come up with a show? Nigga, chill. Like, I, I just started to do this thing, like, full time. You want me to do a show right now? People are so much in a hurry. Yeah, but let me ask you, how smart is what he just fucking said? The fact that I want to master it, like I still have work to do. How smart is it in the context of you know comedians here that are st- still not mediocre even, and they feel like, no, no, I've done what, I- I've mastered it. Like, this is it. I'm a fucking seasoned veteran. I don't need to do any more work. How fucking smart is that? that there's he, people who release he's albums. He's new to the god. Yeah, there's pe- he's new to the fucking game, and, and no he still said, listen. I got to work. No one's going to listen to their album. Yeah, Nobody it, wants to listen. I, I mean, I have a following, and they pay... 40 bucks to see a one man show. You know, if I came yeah. out next week, yeah. and they're like, I'd pay for watch that. But we don't. We, don't we run a show, that. we do 15 minute sets. You know, and I have enough material where I'm at like close to 40 minutes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Doesn't mean I'm going to nail them to the floor for the full four, but they're solid jokes throughout the 40 minutes. Yep. But doesn't mean that it's a 40 minute set. No, you know, just because you got three fifteen minutes doesn't mean you got a forty minute set. Nigga. That's exactly it. Same thing. Before you came, that's what I was got, doing. I was fucking two, writing. You got three fifteen. You Dude. don't. Three fifteen is not. The, 315 doesn't equal 45. No. It no. equals 315. Yep. Yeah. And it's a big difference in that, in that distinction I think a lot of people don't get. So I'm patient. I mean, I'm just accumulating the material, but... Uh. It's a grind. That's what a lot of people forget is that it's a grind. It's constant work. Yeah. It's constant work. And you're never... Every time you get to a level where you're happy, the next day you're no longer happy with it. That becomes your, your, your regular, and then you want to go to a new fucking yeah. level. That's what the best do. That's what... You know, you grind, you make it, you become better and better. But these fucking people that I see now that they just... Rest on almost garbage. Just meet up. Like, oh, well, that's it. This is my 10. Yeah. That's, that's what I got. And I'm always going to use the same five or 10. I'm going to make it. How? How are you going to make it? You got to do more. You got to fucking get I out there. I always have to write. The problem is, like, yo, uh, like you learn, and people used to tell me that, yo, you learn when you're going to have a bad show. And, that, yo, this Monday, I was in Laval. This show was brutal. It was just <laughs> a poor fucking setting. No oh, one happens. Nobody had fun. Nobody. <laughs> nobody. I had a little bit of fun, but really. It was, but that's how you learn. That's how you like. Okay, what happened there? What can I, you know, learn from my mistake? Always make fucking the best time that I learned how to do like uh, my comedy was not doing French comedy. It was doing English comedy. That's when you feel like you learn. Yeah, because we struggle so yo, much. Yo, yeah. yo, English, if you want to humble yourself, motherfucker, go, go. <laughs> go for yeah. Any fucking any comedian that's French and that's good, I'm like, okay, nice. That was a good set. Mm-hmm. Now you're going to do a set in English at Grumpy's. Go oh, ahead. Oh yeah. Go ahead. Now, oh, Grum. Okay. It's now you're gonna, now you're going to do now you're going to do open mic at Chica. Now you're going to do dude, be, yeah. trying to do funny in front of people that don't give, give a, a fuck, fuck that are sipping their tea like, "Uh, bitch, I'm studying for this final." Oh, so but that helps. It builds character. Do, but yeah. But at that moment, you Cause, hate cause, everything. Because you you hate everything, but you have it, it, it gives you the, the the ability to surf. You understand? I learned to surf in English, not in French. Because in French, boom, you do something to me, a, a, a face, they laugh. They laugh, they clap. I'm like, oh, okay, I'm good. No, in English, you're like, <laughs> chuckle. Oh, shit, I got to pick up my shit and go, nigga. I got to go. I can't just stay there on this laugh. You don't have a comedic break in English. You do in French. You do, but you don't. Thinking about your joke. But it shit. pays, though. Yeah, it I pays. heard, yeah. French it's pays. Okay. French pays. So, like, if you were the same level and you were doing it on the French side, you might be, like, a fairly big name. Yep. Who knows? Oh, uh, Sunday that just passed. I was at the comedy nest with, and before I go on stage, I tell Jeffrey Applebaum, "I'm like, yo, I'm gonna try some new shit." <laughs> it didn't go too well. I get off stage. He's like, "Let me ask you, why did you open with kids getting molested?" <laughs> it's like, why did you? Why was your new stuff about kids getting molested? And you didn't ease into it. Ease into like it. I just because I was fucking around. There was like 13 people there. Uh, I was like, I got this. I'm doing Super Bowl <laughs> weekend at the nest. Oh, you're gonna have fun. Yeah, it's gonna be the Sunday Super Bowl. It's but gonna be that day. Gonna have a good I'm time. like, who's gonna show up? Oh, but the people that will show up don't give a fuck about football. They're just there for the comedy. That's why those nights are good. Because the people who will show up don't give a fuck about anything else. Okay. It happened to me during the playoffs last year, though, that uh, during uh, for the Raptors. The, and I wanted to watch the Raptors play, right? And they were playing next door. Yeah. So I was going on stage. But nobody I, cares about the Raptors. Here. I talked about it on stage. I go, I just wanna I wanna go next door when I'm done to go watch the game. And then all these fucking guys in the front like this, they're like, they had their phones like, oh, you guys too? What are you doing here? Why are you going to watch the game? Why are you, why are wow. the comedy that's watching me? We're both agitated. Exactly. <laughs> but that, but that, that's the thing. Like, for real, English comedy in Montreal fucking humbles your shit. Yeah. If you go to Ottawa, it's different. Oh, Ottawa, dude. Ottawa's not the same shit. I, was, I, have, I have fun in, 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 in Ottawa, yeah. you know? Uh, but in English here, yo, you have to. 
Ottawa, they're too work. nice. Because they got nothing else going for them, if you think about it. Like I said, they're politicians that work there yeah. and shit. They, yeah. What are you going to do? You can't talk about this stuff at work. Like, at work, they can't no. talk about sex. No. and they, no. It's no. super strict. No. So when they come to the club and they hear you talking about a relationship, fuck this guy, fuck, like, oh my God, that's how I feel. Yeah. And they get to explode. That's why that place is good if you want to record an album. I feel mm. Ottawa, mm. Ottawa, is, Ottawa is like the French side here. Yeah. But in English. That's what I feel like it is. So Except nobody mind. pays like the French out here. Apparently, the so French nobody, out here, you no. make money. Yep, you do. You can make bank. You do. Yeah. You, you do. That, that, hmm. The little show that I did on, 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 on Monday was like 50 bucks. Just for fucking but showing not, up. It was not a, it was I mean, not a most big of the open mics that I do in French, they always pay me $25, $50. That's not an open mic, though. That's, that's, a little set. that's a little set. That's not an open mic. Open but mic. Still, open that's mic. It's pretty much an open mic to me in the sense that like you go up and you do a show, and yeah, mm. they charge people at the door. But when we do shows here, we do eight to 10 minutes. We're not getting paid. Yeah, we're not getting paid. Wow. This yeah. T- yeah, it's it's not every time that you get paid. It depends. You have to be the big club. You got to be at a weekend. You got to do something that's not a guest spot. You got to be mm. on. Mm. It's, yesterday, uh, yesterday I was an hour away. Drummondville. Drummondville. I've been there. Uh, it was 15, 125. 15 minutes, 125 bucks. Yeah, I was the yeah. first. Uh, I was an opener. It's good money. He, yeah, he, he, great money. He, he make good money if you get on the produce shows like uh, Franco Tadeo. He's a good booker, man. Mm. Franco's a comedian, and uh, I don't, he has, has he booked you for anything? No, I'll talk to him because uh, you're gonna do well. We, 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 we've worked with together. I've worked with Frank on uh, weekends. Before. He's, he's a good guy, and him, he fucking he pays. He doesn't fuck around. He pays you, and he pays you well. Mm. Yeah. So that kind of that kind of shit's good. You get in if when you're good. You get in line with these people here, like there's some promoters, some bookers, and that, and you make money. What happens is a, a lot of the the comedians here they, they get into their own clique. They don't really break out. Mm. They laugh at each other. They do smaller shows. They don't make as much money, and they kind of they stay at a certain level. You have to get out. You have to get with these bigger promoters, bigger bookers. You people need to see you around different parts of Quebec. Yeah. You gotta go to Toronto. You gotta you know when you can you go to the states. Uh, to do uh, you know a, a feature, just a, sp- a, a guest spot. You know, you get the right connections. You do little guest spots. Like I met a lot of people. That I still have friends in comedy that are from California. Mm. When I, when I went to do comedy down there, I met them doing comedy because mm. they see you on stage. Like, oh, this guy's from you know. If you make them laugh, mm. you're from, they want to become your friends. Like, okay, this guy's funny. He's not just here to yeah. fuck around. And then they want to know more about you. Then you keep in contact. They hook you up with another show. You hook them up with a show in another city. This and that, and it grows. Wha- if you just stay in your little bubble here, you're five people, and you just do the same produced show every month or whatever, you're not going to break out. You have to fucking go out there and do other more shows. things, yeah. other do you, shows. Do you, do, you, do you, when you go to the stage, you, you tell them where you're from? What they introduce you? you oh, yeah, when they introduce me, yeah, they say some Montreal. You, I thought you were going to say, do I tell the, the board or what I'm going to do there? No, 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 of course not, but I'm, I mean, I'm just saying, like, do... Yeah, they say Montreal, and uh, or sometimes they just say Canada because they... They're like whatever Canada's Canada, so we'll just say Canada, and then people yeah. right away they have this oh like they're a little curious foreigner. like what's he going to talk about? I mean, about? anytime there's a foreigner on a show, people get more interested. Yeah, yeah. yeah. if you're from out of town, that's why I'm like yeah, I just sound from because. Ethiopia, and I just I work with that. There's a guy, there's a guy named Ant- Ant- Anthony Cavana, okay. big dude in, in French, right? He went to France for like f- f- twenty years, came back, and when he first started, it started really quickly. Uh, comedy was not the way it was right now, but he started really quickly. And he said, "You know what? I'm gonna go to the Apollo in the states, and I'm gonna try to do something." So he went to <laughs> he went to New York to to Apollo. Oh, and, they don't fuck around. And he's like, "So what do you want me to say?" Yeah, just say I'm from uh, Montreal. I'm a big star over there. He, the guy's like, I'm "That's not, not gonna fly here." I'm bro. not gonna say that. <laughs> I'm not gonna. Yeah, yeah, say that, dude. I'm not saying that. Yeah, yeah, say that. <laughs> okay. Boot off stage real quick. Uh-huh. That's why I was asking. I don't know how it is. Like no, no, the no, fact no. is not it, where he's from. No, no, that was, was the, really, look, as the big star in Montreal. They, he, give a fuck. they don't give a fuck. But it, the Apollo, the Harlem. Apollo has booed children, so the Apollo Harlem. They, they don't fuck around. Yeah, they, <laughs> I like, I like <laughs> the Apollo. They don't fuck around. But, but yeah, we gotta we gotta roll. We out. gotta wrap this up. Anyways, um, Abba preach. I got your links down there for the uh, YouTube channel. Yo. Are you on Twitter, preach? Because this fucker's not on Twitter, really. Yeah. You are? Yeah. Are you active on Twitter? Yeah. Then your Twitter's down there, too. I'm putting your Twitter. That's what's up. Facebook, all that shit. Uh, get Inst- on Twitter. Inst- Instagram. I'm not doing He's not. He's not going to do it. Get on fucking... Yeah, Instagram. I got, your, I got your Instagram. I'm going to get yours. They're all down there. They're in the description. Um, follow Abba and Preach. Check out their videos. The best thing you could do is subscribe. Subscribe. Put that little bell icon on so you know when they have something new. Boom. And uh, you're going to have fun with them. I have fun with them. Thank you guys for listening. Thank, Thank you. you. Good day. Bye.